What up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks Army. Today is Cyber Monday, and I'm going to let y'all know right now, today is the last day for y'all to get that 50% off all soul premise sneaker travel bag, Luciano leather, commuter bag, daily bag, duffel bag, roller bags, all bags. Today is your last day to get that 50% off Army. So when I go back to 30, 35%, don't be like, break. You got the 50%. Nah, today is the last day, so make sure y'all take advantage of that. Speaking of take advantage of, Army, we know today the Air Jordan 5 DJ Khaled's drop, the Crimson Bliss pair. Now, I've been excited about those since we originally heard that the old joints was going to drop. And about a week and a half ago, my boy Justin actually hit me a pair on the shot drop over there in Europe. And I was able to get a dub earlier today. Pretty much anybody who entered should have been able to get a dub. They have about a hundred and what? About a hundred and ten thousand pairs of the Air Jordan 5 DJ Khaled that dropped today. Which is a crazy amount. It seemed like it was about the same amount of pairs of the Crimson Bliss as it was the Air Jordan 4 my year. So again, if you wanted them, you should have been able to get them. Now hear me out, Army. Because like, I feel like if you wanted the shoe and you went for it again, you got a dub. But... Mugs just ain't keep that energy in the lab earlier today. And I had to call, I just had to call the army out. Not everybody, but if the shoe fits, I'm sorry, army. Y'all let me know and I don't keep my word or if I'm going back and forth on a particular shoe. So I got to hit y'all with the same level. That's just what we do. Because when these joints shot dropped about three weeks ago, Mugs was going crazy. Ah, the DJ Khaled shot dropped. I want them. Let me get them. I, look, Army, and I've been asking people since then, like, Army, if y'all don't want them, you know, throw a trade up on Trade Block. Let's see if we can get a trade or whatever the case may be. Muggs was pumped. Muggs was happy that they got the shot drop. But then the joints actually dropped today, and it was enough pairs available for everybody. It just seemed like the energy was different. Oh, these bricks. Ha ha, these sitting. These trash. Like, y'all, it was just a completely different vibe on the shoe today. And I'm just like, Army, this wasn't the same energy leading up to the actual drop. Y'all know I will never call shoes bricks. Either I like the shoe or I don't like the shoe. But it was just like, for these, because they said a lot of people just hee hee ha ha. And I was surprised that these joints actually went to Nike.com. Like, I know the Air Jordan 12, he said, go sit Nike.com, but those are only smaller sizes. Literally, it was a full size run on Sneakers app, which always raises a question to me. I'm like, how did Wifey go for a size 10 and a half? Took an L, but then they drop them on Nike.com, literally full size run an hour later. I feel like if it's that vast amount of pairs, why everybody who entered did not get a dub? Like, how did it sell out on Sneakers app and then jump on Nike.com and they got full size? Like, that never makes sense to me. Even with, like, the sneaker pass, again, like, if you don't hit on the sneaker pass, but then you hear Nike doing first come, first serve on all pairs and all sizes, I'm like, bro, like, if y'all got enough for first come, first serve, literally everybody who signed up should have been able to get a dub. Unless they have 100,000 pairs and 75,000 is allocated to sneakers and 25,000 is going to be allocated to Nike. But generally, when shoes sell out on sneakers, they don't go to Nike. But maybe that's how it is with the sneaker pass. If a store got 200 pairs, they're going to put 150 pairs on the sneakers app. Put a sneaker pass, and then the other 50 pairs is just going to go first come, first serve. Like, we kind of need a little bit of understanding because it don't make sense. Also said how these did sit on Nike.com. If you wanted to double up, you should have been able to get it. If this shoe goes up, and I honestly, from the material of the shoe, from seeing the shoe, the colorway, the story, the person whose shoe it is, I definitely see these going up. And since the these kind of remind me of the Trophy Rooms, not by the colorway, just I remember when the Trophy Room 5s dropped, man, and nobody wanted them. Like, they was going 200 300 bucks the first day. Two, three, four months down the line, it's a $1,000 shoe. Again, I'm not going to say that the Callis are going to do that same exact thing, but I just got a feeling that these are going to kind of follow in the footsteps of the Air Jordan 5 trophy rooms. Also with the Air Jordan 5 Callis, the sale colorway. It was so many people in the chat like, break, what a sale colorway at? What a sale colorway? Sale colorway went to neighborhood stores, mom and pops, and 10 zeros. That's where the Air Jordan 5 DJ Khaled sale went. Like, his pairs in Chicago, it should be pairs wherever y'all got neighborhood stores. Like, your concept, your my years, your wish. Like, those spots should have got the Jordan 5 DJ Khaled in the sale colorway. And I don't want to say all neighborhood stores because 
like DTLR and Snipes, they got the Rebellionaires, they got the Vault Visionaries, but I don't think that they got the Air Jordan 5 DJ Khaled. It was sites like Undefeated got them. So spots like that did get the sale colorway if y'all was looking. Now, last I checked this morning when we was on live, I did notice that the Air Jordan 5 DJ Khaled and the sale colorway was going a little bit over 300 bucks. I haven't checked since this morning to see what the price is. So let me check it out right quick. Size 11 right now, highest bid is 285, lowest ask is 292. So even these joints are less than 300. And I still feel like a lot of people are still saving their ducats for the Air Jordan 1 Lost and Found. I feel like most people haven't moved on past that shoe yet and they not gonna move on until they get it. No, I'm that type of person. Like I cannot focus on the next shoe until I get that main shoe that I really, really want. Then I can focus on the stuff that's coming afterward. Another thing, Army, what's been going on with size 14? Why wasn't there any size 14 in my years? Why wasn't there any size 14 in the Air Jordan 5 DJ Khaled? And then I asked the question, I'm just like, how is it that StockX and Go are getting size 14? In my year, they didn't even get size 14 on their site. Sneakers app, they didn't have the my years in the 14 or the calories in the 14. Again, but you look on StockX and the size 14s and on Go. And a member of the army hit me up and said, it seems like they are allocating the size 14s to Europe. Because I hit up my boy Abraham, I'm like, bro. Did y'all have size 14 and a DJ Callis in my years? He said yes. So Europe got size 14s. For some reason over here in the States, we have not been getting size 14s. Now I'm not sure if Nike doing like a little switcheroo because I have noticed that it's a little bit more stock on the size 13s and size 15s than it has previously been. So maybe overseas size 13 and size 15 don't sell as much as they do over here in the States. But size 14 sells better over there than it. I don't know, y'all. I'm just trying to wrap something around my head that's gonna make sense for me to why we not getting size 14, but Europe is getting size 14. Cause I know the size 14 bros have definitely been missing out on these last couple collab drops, and they've been nice, man. Like if you didn't grab the Callis because of the price or because they were sitting, man, you gotta look yourself in the mirror and ask you why you doing this. Because to me. The quality on the shoe is nice. I know I love collabs anyway. To me, it was a no-brainer. And especially if you was able to use that swoosh account. These joints came out to like 140 something after tax if, the, if you was able to use a swoosh account. I mean, bro, you can't beat that. That's early 2000 era Jordan prices, man. Again, you can't beat that. So, Army, I did put in the live again this morning that I will be going live on whatnot. And I will have some era Jordan 1 loss of fouls. Gonna be the last time that I put some lost and founds on the app before Christmas. I know a lot of people want to get them joints under the tree. I know it's some spots in Chicago that still got pairs, but they ain't taxing for them. But your boy gonna buy them because I do got some merch to match the Air Jordan 1 lost and founds, y'all. So as soon as my Jordan 1 lost and found merch land this week, I will be going live on Whatnot Army. So again, do not forget to go ahead and bookmark the Whatnot live stream. And I'm going to try to see if we can have a nice little giveaway in there as well, Army. I know it's Christmas time, and I know y'all love me doing the giveaways on whatnot, so I'm going to definitely make sure it happens. And last but not least, Army, Sneakers App kind of made a mistake earlier this morning. So a member of the Army hit me up and said, this popped up on my screen when I logged in. Either a glitch or an OG coming. Before I show y'all the exact image, I hit up Z Sneakerhead, and he was blown away as well. Like, bro, what? Like, that's crazy. I'm like, bro, are these even on the radar? He said, as of right now, they are not on the radar, Army. But I checked the last time that this particular shoe dropped was in 2015. So I'm not sure if these joints are actually dropping this year. It could be next year. But a man's actually wind up seeing that the Air Jordan 1 Shadow, and I know y'all don't really like this type of silhouette, but the AJKO, when he opened up his screen, that was the first thing that popped up. Army, only thing I could do is trust y'all with the information that y'all can give. Like if stuff seems too far fetched, then hey, you know what I'm saying? Like I kind of leave it alone, but this right here is interesting. And then just like, why would you send me? Like I can see if it was like a Royal or a bread, but it's an Air Jordan 1 Shadow AJKO. So it's not like, oh my God, like the, the masses is gonna, you know, start drooling over this shoe. But it's just still weird that a lot of glitches have been going on on Sneakers app 
a lot of things have not been accurate on Sneakers App, and Sneakers App has not. Sneakers app ain't been itself as of late, and it's showing. Now, some people like the AJKO silhouette, and if y'all do, I feel like this is an upcoming Air Jordan. When is it gonna drop? I'm not 100% sure. Even my boy Z ain't have an official date for these, but y'all even seen about a couple weeks ago, I had did a video where Nike accidentally sent the guy a pair of the Air Jordan 12 Cherry Low Ghost, and we had no clue about that either, so maybe they just accidentally sent the wrong Gotham screen. But it does say Air Jordan 1 KO High OG on there too, so I don't know, Army. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. These are computers. These are man-made things, and these mistakes happen. I don't want to say they happen frequently, but I won't be surprised if this actually was the case. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Y'all let me know if y'all did score the Callis. I know the next big drop, I want to say it got to be the what? The Cherries and the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scott. So I haven't seen much about the Air Jordan 13 UNCs. Maybe those got pushed back to January because I seen my boy Z had his lineup for December. And I'm going to hit y'all with the December video probably Wednesday on the stuff that's dropping. Because I, I, I got a good one for y'all tomorrow. I got a good one. I don't want to spoil it too much, but a member of the Army hit me up. Said he had a phone call with Nike about his Air Jordan 1 loss and founds. And then it led to some other stuff. So I'm going to hit y'all with all of that information tomorrow. I mean, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable Army says strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit Unbreakable for the users. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old stuff, but he get amusing. He was old him first season. The most beefy looking like two laps. Two laps cause your ass taking nails.